Hey guys, what is up? It's Austin, uh, Austin Tutorials here, and I only have 10 minutes because I still haven't bought Bandicam. I know I said I would do it last video, or the video before, um, but I didn't. So this is a continuation of my last tutorial for Game Maker 8.1 or Game Maker 8.0. Um, this was the one where I told you I would do a GUI or a GUI or just a title with interactive buttons. Basically what it does is you click a button and it brings you to a different part of the game. In this case it'll be our level. So we just go ahead and hit done. Um, or our options, which will, I'll show you how to make an options menu next video. Or maybe actually no, not next video, some other video. Because you actually have to um, do it so it'll change things. Maybe like volume and stuff. We'll do that later. Mm, excuse me. And then quit game, which obviously will quit the game. I'm not going to click that though because as you can see here, um, there are these buttons which interact, so they change. Basically, what this what happens here is they change their picture. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get right into it. We're gonna do. Um, I hope you kept your last project. If you didn't, then it's fine. You just need to create a few new things. So we're just gonna go into our video one. And if you didn't save it, just go ahead and create um, pre-title or just create a title room real quick, and that's all you'll need. And of course, your background for the title. Excuse me, you'll need that too. And so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, in the for the buttons, since I'm not going to show you how to make them this video, but I will make a video on it, uh, we're going to go ahead and download them from the description. Um, they're directly from my computer, they're mine, they're safe, you know, how can a picture file hold a virus, that crap. So anyways, um, what you want to do is uh, right, -click, right click Sprite, hit create new, actually don't, I want to delete that. You want to go ahead and right click Sprite and hit create new group. And then you want to name it title and then just hit OK. And you want to right click title and you want to hit create sprite. Call this play NC for not clicked. Load your sprite in. Find wherever play is, wherever you saved it. Make sure you choose the darker one or you can do the lighter one, it doesn't matter. Um, then hit center and hit OK. And you want to create um, play Play C for play clicked, load your sprite, and play clicked is going to be the opposite one, so the light one in my case. And you want to hit center. And then um, since it's going to be the same, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and when I'm up to a button that's going to be, uh, when I'm up to the next part, I'll go to you. So remember, you choose, you name it, you have to have two buttons, one light, one dark, and make sure you center it. Alright, once you have that done, guys, it should something look something like this. Each of them should be named differently, centered, and you have the variations of each button. In total, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 buttons. Oh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Excuse me, you should have 8 buttons in total. Sorry about that. Um, so just go ahead and close all those, or just if they are closed, then that's good. You already are a step ahead of me. And so next, we wanna have, we're going to have to create some objects. And what you want to do is hit uh, right-click Objects, Create Group. I'm going to call them Title. BTNs for buttons. Um, or you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, you can call it Soup Monkey for all I care. Um, then what you want to do is do Create Object, and for this one, um, Play through Exit are all going to be the same. So I'm going to show you how to do it once, pause the video, and come back for the Done button. So what you do is you name it Play. You don't need to name it NC or anything like that because it's just Play. You could call it Play BTN, which I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You want to add the sprite of Play NC, and you want to add because you just do it. Uh, leave the rest of that alone. You want to do add event, mouse, left button. For left button, you want to go to main one and then go to room. Now make sure this is common sense right here. Um, well, first of all, we have to add some room, so we're just going to create room, create room, um, settings. Make sure it's your resolution from video one, or if you want, it can be a different resolution. It does not matter. Um, sorry about this inconvenience here. Okay, you want to make sure that you name them um, level one and options. And the common sense part of this is for the options button, you want left button to take you to the options room. So you want to choose different room, drag it in here. For since this is the play button, you hit level one. For options, you're going to want to put options. It's common sense. And end game um, for exit. So for exit, you want to use end game. Right now, for add event, you want to do uh, mouse enter and add event mouse leave. And for these two, all you got to do is for mouse enter, you do change sprite to um, play C for play clicked. And then for mouse leave, you just simply change it back to play not clicked. 
Um, if there's any problems with that in the comments, let me know. And it's simple as that. So remember, left button is go to the place that you want to. So for options, it's options. For play, it's level one. And for exit, it's end game right here in main two, end game for exit. And then mouse enter, mouse leave. Change into play C, change into play not clicked. And I'll pa unpause the video and be right back when I'm done with this. All right, when you're finished with that, it should look something like this. Exit should be uh, left button, end game, and same for before. And then left button for options should be go to room options. Like I said before, if there's any problems with that, please do tell me in the comments and I can help you. Now for the done button, you want to do right click, create objects, just hit done button, BTN. And the sprite should be done, not clicked. Add your event for mouse left button. And for mouse left button, you want to go ahead and click, uh, or click, yeah, hit um, no room, change it to title. And hit OK. And then add event. You want to add your mouse event with um, enter and leave. And we don't have to do this twice because the done button will be universal in the title. So actually, I'm going to call it done button title, um, just in case. And then you want to change the sprite to done C, done. And then mouse leave. Just go ahead and change that right back to done, um, not clicked. And then this should be it. You hit OK. And this should be it for now. And now you want to go to level 1. Actually, no, you don't. Sorry, I did this last time, too. Uh, the video I failed to do before. Anyways, you want to do, um, for a tutorial game, you want to choose Objects tab. You want to choose your object. Make sure the first one is Play. Now, you click and hold, so you can drag it around freely. Otherwise, if you just click, it'll leave it there, and you just click again. can't work. So just right-click to remove. You click and hold and drag it into position, and it should snap to um, where you're trying to put it. For Options button, you do the same thing. Click and hold. And, of course, um, exit button, just click and hold. And then your buttons will be set up. You check done. Um, level 1, you want to just go ahead and add the done button. So add your done button in the corner someplace. Really doesn't matter. Um, and then for options, of course, just add your done button up here so we know that it's different. So if anything goes wrong, we will know. Debug it by hitting the green or red play button at the top there. doesn't matter which one you use. Your uh, working splash screen should work if you saved your project. And there we go. It works. This part of it does. It changes colors. We hit play. Ah, look, it works. We hit done. We hit options. And it works. Hit done. And quit game. So if you had any problems with that, I'm going to go over because I have seven minutes on the clock here. So I have a little bit more time to help you. Um, for the for the buttons, you may be confused a little bit. Um, for exit button, what you had to do was for left button, choose end the game. Otherwise, it would have gone to another room. That's not what we wanted. So exit was end the game. And then options button was just go to the options room, which that was pretty much common sense. Not that hard to find yourself. Um, and done button title is for going back to the title. So you want to go back to the room of title. I hope this helped you guys. Um, for the next tutorial, I'm probably going to do your first level, and the next tutorial after that will probably be a pause menu. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, um, and tell me some, some ideas for what videos I should do. I'll see you guys later.